Welcome to the most retarded challenge on Call of Duty Cold War. We've seen three kills without dying with a riot shield, but I think this challenge is even worse. We have three kills without dying 20 times with the Sigma 2, which is already known to Cold War players as complete and utter shite. Anyway, I'm going to show you how I got this challenge done pretty quickly. Firstly, you need hardcore as the Sigma in core takes two rounds to kill one enemy, whereas in hardcore it only takes one. You need hardcore Nuketown, and at the moment there is a Nuketown 24-7 mode out, which is obviously very helpful, but depending on when you're watching, Watching this it may not be out then depending when it comes in and out during different seasons you can do this on hardcore domination or team deathmatch but the way I did it was on Nuketown 24-7 as it's a smaller map and a lot easier to run into people for the loadout the first thing you need is the lawbreaker wildcard this is so you can have the Sigma as your primary gun to save you keep swapping it out. You can run the Danger Close Wild card instead which gives you additional rockets at the start but you will have to keep swapping out your primary weapon for the Sigma every time you die. I then went for the Diamati Burst Pistol, fuck knows how you pronounce that by the way but anyway a pistol means you can run quicker trying to get across the map. You then got stun grenades which makes killing enemies easier, frag grenades which don't matter at all and a field mic which can be quite helpful for giving away enemy locations. For perk number one you have flat jacket saving you from explosive damage their most important perk is scavenger this is as you only spawn with two rockets in the sigma and you need a lot more than two rockets i can promise you that so with scavenger you can easily get another two more rockets another three more rockets whatever and keep on killing enemies as believe me it will take you a lot of rockets to kill three enemies and finally you need ghost which obviously keeps you off the enemy radar which is quite important as getting three kills without dying with the sigma can take a little while now the first way to get three kills without dying on nuketown is to rush from spawn now yes this does sound completely retarded but surprisingly works as you usually meet in a 1v1 situation which is the only time you can win with the sigma you usually have to grab an ammo pouch to get more rockets and get the third and final kill running around with the sigma can also work rather than just camping a building this does make it a bit quicker in completing the challenge but it is completely dependent on if the enemy team is camping or not you can also get very lucky with the sigma as you usually have to be in quite close range to get a kill with it considering there is very little splash damage you also have to hide quickly once you fired and killed an enemy as the reload takes quite a while. The longer but easier way to get three kills without dying is to either camp the green or yellow building. The yellow building is better as you can camp on the bunk beds giving you higher ground to shoot at the enemy's feet and also less chance of getting spotted. Black jacket is also very important here lowering the effect of grenades which people will spam a lot at you. When upstairs you can also fire the sigma out of the window which once again has the high round and can also help you get easier kills. The only problem with this is that it can take a while for an enemy to appear so you spend a lot of time waiting. This was the way I got most of the challenge completed as once people know you're up there they will keep on trying to kill you as they're probably pissed off by the fact you killed them with a sigma. If you are up there long enough though the spawns can flip which feeds you lots of kills in quick succession which also helps you get the challenge done a lot quicker. The downside of this challenge is the fact that the gun is utter shite so if the enemies have flat jacket it is impossible to kill them no matter how many rockets you fire at them they will not die. You can also get people using the M79 or noob tube as people prefer which is just complete aids or they just camp the opposite building across and keep shooting across at you so be prepared for your KD to go to shite. The most triggering thing about the challenge is when you have two out of the three kills and with it being hardcore a teammate kills you on purpose or by accident with a kill streak like artillery or of napalm which is just complete aids but there's not a lot you can do about it or even worse when you accidentally kill yourself rather than get the third kill which is definitely fun times but if you want to complete this challenge rush mid from spawn and camp both buildings you do get better with the gun over time as at first it is extremely raging i even got to the point where i got a positive kd and a chopper gunner with the sigma which i cannot explain how i did that anyway i hope this has helped and good luck with the challenge lads and i'll see you in a bit bye